Well, hey, welcome back to the North Florida Sports Network, the NFLSN.com. It's been a while since we last talked, um, but the Super Bowl is about to go off, and we're ca- talking to you about 30 minutes before the kickoff. Wanted to get our predictions on tape before we watch the game, and I have a special guest. I did lose my phone in Idaho, so if you're trying to get a hold of me and you listen to this podcast, that's what's happened. Um, luckily, I did find it, and they are shipping it back to me. So um, we weren't able to bring in um, any of the regular guests to get their picks. But we do have a special guest, the one and only Lorraine Fletcher on the line to talk about the Super Bowl. Lorraine, what's up? Amazing, Sly Queen. All right. So <laughs> um, you do you have any questions for me about this game that we're about to watch? No, not really. Okay. Do you know who's playing in this game? Yes, Eagles and Chiefs. Okay. All right. And who are you rooting for? The Eagles, probably, because I don't know, just because I just yeah. their potential is seems yeah, all right. better to me. Okay. Well, um I I think the Eagles are gonna win this game. Yeah. Um but we could be wrong. Maybe. We could be wrong. Um And uh, we'll react to the game later on the show. We're not going to do a big preview show because if you're listening, when you listen to this, the game's probably already happened. Um, We just wanted to come on here and do the intro here. My daughter's right here and uh, see if she, are you looking forward to the halftime show or the game? Halftime show. Yeah. That's in the commercials too. Is that right? Yep. Also, you guys need to watch the the Puppy Bowl. Oh, yeah. It is the cutest little thing ever. Oh, that's right. I saw <laughs> you watching the Puppy Bowl earlier. Yeah. And um, I came back here, and she asked if she wanted to come pick the game, so that's what we're doing. She, So you're going with the Eagles. Is yeah. that right? The Eagles fly, Ooh. Eagles fly. fly you know, it's fly. funny. My first time I called a national talk radio show back in when I was a kid, <laughs> and um, it was... I had this I had this stint when I was an Eagles fan and I bought this Eagles jersey for no reason at all. I don't know why. But uh the Eagles beat the Cowboys in this game and I called the uh Arnie Spaniard show a one on one sports and I got and I got out on the show and I was nervous and I didn't know what to say and I was just like, The Eagles are the best team in the NFL and the guy hung up on me. <laughs> and when they did that they they'd play like uh a gun sound like they'd shoot you off the air like pow, 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 and yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was I was kinda I kinda dropped the ball there. <laughs> You're doing much better than I did. <laughs> so uh yeah um but you know your grandfather, he's a Chiefs fan. Yeah, he's probably gonna be very mad at us. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, he probably's not gonna listen, so never know. But he might. And if he does, you're not going to be able to, you're going to have to tell him that you picked the Eagles. If he does, I'm not getting a birthday present this year. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, um, thank you for being here as we uh, open up this episode. We're going to come back to you after the game, fill you in on uh, what, how did, how did it take place, what were the keys to the game, what happened, and how we watched the game here with Lorraine, what commercials we liked, what about the halftime show we liked. And what happened? So we'll be right back. Right. Well, instant reaction now to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 57 just wrapped up. And Lorraine and I were wrong. And that's all right. It was a hell of a Super Bowl. Super Bowl 57, 38-35, the Chiefs with the with the win and um it it had a uh ending that kind of was didn't live up to the game itself. Um 24 to 14 was the score at halftime. The Eagles were up, but um, 
halftime adjustments were made after Rihanna came out there and a good put on a pretty good halftime show. Um, that's the part that Lorraine remembers. Um, and then the Chiefs answered in the second half, coming out and scoring three straight touchdowns on all three of their first possessions of the half and getting taking a 35-27 lead, in fact. But the Eagles responded, um, coming down and tying the game, getting a touchdown and actually a two-point conversion. Um, but the Chiefs were able to come back down and they – and had it in the red zone. I think it all came down. There was about two minutes left in the game. It was a third down and eight. I believe the ball was around the 20-yard line. And uh, there was um, pressure on Holmes, but in the pass fell incomplete. So in that situation, you would have had um, a field goal attempt by the Chiefs and that would have been with plenty of time left for the Eagles. But a penalty flag was thrown. Before the snap, there was a hold. Now, definition, yes. And um, I know uh, Greg Olson, who was doing the analyst, who was the color analyst for the game for Fox, um, he, he didn't like the call in that, you know, in that state of the game. But, you know... Technically, it, it was a hold. I think the pressure um, by uh, Sweat on the outside, um, Mahomes kind of th- let that one go. I don't know if it would have affected the the um, the results of the play. Um, so that's if it's uh, you know you don't like to see that. But after that, after that happened, um, the 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 Eagles were going to let them score, but they they slid down. Took knees down to where there was only kicked a field goal where there was 11 seconds left. And the Eagles had no chance to get a tie or come back. Um, 38-35 is the final. Patrick Mahomes will win the MVP. I'm sure of it. He had, he played a great game. Efficient. Ran. And then one of the big plays on their final drive, though, he, he, he came up with a huge scramble. Gutted it out. Um, you can tell the the ankle did. He was favoring it, but I mean, he he learned how to play with it, and he learned when he had to. He he could get up there, and he could still avoid those defensive linemen and run down. He escaped up the middle for what was a huge scramble late in the game. So the Kansas City Chiefs are Super Bowl Fifty Seven champions, thirty eight, thirty five over the Philadelphia Eagles. Um. There wasn't really much pressure on any of the quarterbacks in this game. And uh, to not be able to get to Mahomes, they they did a good job protecting him. I think, um, and then the turnover. The turnover um, before in the game, in the, in the beginning of the game, the Eagles had a uh, Jalen Hurts kind of just drop the ball, you know. It slipped out of his hands right before he got hit, and it just – Popped right up for the linebacker of the Chiefs, and he ran it in for the for the touchdown. You know, those are the plays that you can't have, and that is the difference of the game. That's the. Other than that, the Eagles probably win the game. They probably go up insurmountable lead, um, but instead it, they, it's fourteen to fourteen, and they're able to not get up too big at half, and it's only up by ten. And then next thing you know, boom, you're down by eight. Um, it was a nice drive that they had the Eagles to come back and tie the game after that. Um, but you that 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 would be the the hold C J Gardner Johnson, um, who uh, had a couple nice open field tackles, a couple big hits too in the game. But it, that that holding call was that was the difference of the game in the second half, and then in the first half, I believe that that I mean that fumble by Jalen Hurts, and uh, he played a great game though. I mean, he played amazing. The first quarterback ever to have three rushing touchdowns, and he threw the ball. You can't throw it that far, and you could probably see that on the last play of the game. 
he uh, tried to give it a Hail Mary and didn't even really get to the 30 or 25 or 30 yard line. But I mean, he, he's, he's an, he's a good quarterback. He's in, he's due for a big payday. Um, the Eagles just weren't able to get pressure to Mahomes and, um, in the, uh, fumble in the fumble. I mean, basically you gave, you dropped the ball and gave them a touchdown and lost by a field goal. <sighs> the chiefs missed a field goal. However, in the first half, that was uh, 42 points, but, um, it was what a, it was an evenly matched game in the first half though the eagles dominated the game i mean they could they they controlled the ball you know they had uh doubled them up in yards they had all the plays mahomes wasn't playing bad he just couldn't get the daggum ball and i think the eagles should have probably been up by more at halftime even though they were up 24 to 14 that easily could have been like 28 seven, you know, or, um, three scores. I mean, that's what you're thinking. If you're an Eagles fan right now is we should have got up 31 to seven, you know, go down and score instead of fumbling that ball. You're, you know, but that's, that's football. Um, when you have two evenly matched teams, whoever makes the mistake, is going to lose. That's why in the NFL, if it's turning the ball over, even though you score so many, the one, I don't think that uh, Mahomes turned it over. Um, Jalen, the Eagles had the fumble and the scoop and score. If that, um, that, you you know, like you, I was watching the game and I could say like, you know, the Eagle, everyone, well, the Eagles are going to win this game. They're going to, but they're, they're playing so much, Better and it's like, well, you know, real you realize that if you let Patrick Mahomes hang around and Andy Reid, where he's just gonna get back there, make some sort of adjustment, in which they did. They made that adjustment in the second half, came out and scored in three consecutive drives. And he has now won two Super Bowls in Kansas City and beats his old team. So that's gotta be pretty satisfying for Andy Reid and the Kansas City Chiefs, who now well, moves the record to 17 and three on the year. Um, Patrick Mahomes coming off his second MVP now, second Super Bowl. Um, he he's on top of the world right now, best player in the game, um, unquestionably. Uh, the Eagles, great season coming up short. Um, lot to look forward to. They still have a lot of good players, young players. Um, you you I wouldn't be surprised to see the both these teams back with a shot to uh, make it to this game um, next year. Um, but uh, that that's it for the NFL season. Um, what a great Super Bowl it was. What a great season. The Kansas City Chiefs are your champions. Um, this has been the first year that I've done any kind of coverage of any kind of football let alone NFL, and I enjoyed picking games and talking about it. Um, I did, I did leave my phone in Idaho, so I wasn't able to. Uh, get, I know that sounds like a country song, but I did do it. And um, so later in the week, when I get that back, um, I'm gonna we're gonna get back together. We have some recruiting recaps to do. I know the the last signing day happened while I was gone. Um, just to recap what happened, catch up on some college basketball, a lot to do. So, um, oh yeah, yeah. <sighs> My daughter was looking forward to the halftime show and, uh, Rihanna came out. Um, so she watched that. I thought it was a pretty good show. I thought she did a good show. I thought she did a good job. She wore, um, some good dancing um, not really much else to say. I think it not too bad, not too great. Moving on. But I left my phone in Idaho. I had a picture of the snow. But I left my phone in Idaho. Yeah, that happened. And it's like a bad feeling, you know, you feel like you're 
you're um you're like stressed and you get anxious and you feel like you're missing everything because you really are i mean you have a phone you don't have it nowadays so but anyway hopefully it'll be on its way and uh well oh, <laughs> oh. Well, maybe we're gonna have to go get it because uh when i first called to get the phone by the way we got to get on out of here our rides here but when i first figured out i had lost that phone boy what a feeling that was it just oh crap you know um, a buddy of mine lost his phone on the ski lift when we were out there skiing place like and then it hit the ground but it was uh to be found by the ski patrol out there um i called that thing the next day and then the phone called back that's always a good feeling we were able to scramble that thing down but as you know last night we're there go out to dinner and i uh, Drop my phone out of my pocket right there at the restaurant. And didn't realize it till the next morning when I woke up for an early ride to the airport. That sucked. I put on the track that, oh, there it is. But what do you do? You buy one of them. It's an expensive phone. And it costs a lot of money nowadays. I mean, so. Especially when you know where it is. So you call and leave a message. But the restaurant's like, hey, just send a friend. Come by. So I guess we got to get on out of here and drive on back to Idaho. From all the way in the North Florida Sports Network. Home Tallahassee. I don't think that's going to happen. That's a long trip. You got enough gas in the car? But I left my phone in. Idaho. Well, I had to. I had pictures, you know. I had a picture of the snow, but I left my phone in Idaho. I did. I did leave it there. It sucks. But whatever. We'll get it back. It's gonna come. Cause the I convinced the hostess to ship it on back to me, and we'll talk to you next time. North Florida Sports Network. We had to go. Our ride was here. We got a uh, shuttle.